Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. Our topic today is the Hajj. The Muslim now they are celebrating the Hajj which is a pagan practice inherited by the pagans before Islam. And you will see in the screen that Muslim men they are wearing a white sheet, actually two sheet, two parts, and each one of them is one piece. And they show one shoulder. The one you see them wearing the total white, those are the one doing Hajj. <coughs> and the funny about the Hajj, <coughs> uh, uh, when you do the Hajj, you have to do Tawaf and you have to go around um, the Kaaba uh, in a certain uh, amount of time. And uh, then you, you the, the lucky one is the one who can reach to the close to the Kaaba and he kissed the black stones and he embraced uh, the Yemeni corner, which is obviously stones taken from the temple of the moon god in Yemen. And Muhammad, he said, if you uh, embrace those two stones or rocks or corners, Allah will forgive your sin. And actually two days ago, we asked a Muslim, why if you embrace those rocks or those stones, Allah will forgive your sin? He could not give us an answer. Because obviously this is nothing but a pagan practice. And uh, even Umar al-Khattab, the caliph of the Muslims, he said when he was kissing the stone, I know that you are useless, but because I know the prophet, he kissed you, so I'm kissing you. So many of the Muslims, they are doing just a practice. They don't know even why. And as you see, even the caliph of the Muslims, Umar, he was not convinced of the reason to kiss the stone, which means he don't believe in it. But yet Muhammad, he said in the judgment day, the black stone is going to have ears and eyes, which means Umar exposed Muhammad, showing that this is useless stone when he said, I know that you are useless, neither harmless, but because the Prophet, he kissed you, I'm kissing you. And as you see, the Muslims are fighting to, to reach to the corners so they can kiss and lick the black stone and embrace it and embrace the Yemeni corner, which Muhammad, he said, as you see the policeman there, uh, he is trying to organize people so they will not fight over uh, the, the, the corners. And supposedly you, you get your, your, uh, your sin uh, cleaned out, whipped out, of your body by uh, by kissing those stones and doing Hajj. Uh, now, the Arab before Islam, specifically Arab women, uh, they used to go around the the Kaaba too, and they used to uh, uh, do the same actually, you know. Uh, but the difference is, they used to uh, uh, like touch the black stone with their hands first. They touch their vagina. And then they touch their the, the black stone with their hand, and that supposedly will make them breathe it because simply Baal, he is going to make them he was going he you know he 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 throw his sperm in the vagina of the black stone, and then they will get breathe it, and that's why we see some hadith speaking about people walking naked around the Kaaba, totally naked. As you see now, people they are going around the corner trying to kiss the corners there, as you see. You know, people, they are trying to, to kiss the, the stones and uh, supposedly that will, will make you uh, like, you know, come like a, like a newborn baby. Uh, and there is tons of videos, actually, you can watch and you will see how people, they are trying to, uh, to get close to the black stone uh, so they can kiss it. Uh, it's always... It's always, you see, one by one, like this is now it's time for the prayer. So people, they have to sit, wait. So if you are lucky, you know, you get a close like this guy, obviously, because he's a Saudi, they allowed him to get a close. And there's two policemen and usually they have a spray in their hand to spray the bad smell. And as you see, the black stone looked like a vagina. Obviously, it is a vagina. So uh, uh, the Muslims believe if they kiss that stone, it's going to witness for them in the day of judgment and Allah will forgive their sin for them. The same as if they kiss the Yemeni corner, which is a stone taken from the, uh, the moon god uh, temple in Yemen, which is called al Makkah. Actually the same as the name of the city of Mecca. And I believe most likely that the city of Mecca is uh, name is taken from that temple, which is the temple of the moon god. Now going back, to the practice of uh, of uh, of the Hajj, you will see uh, how the Muslims uh, they they practice this uh, uh, this pagan practice, and now they are going like uh, this is Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, uh, TV, and they are going right now uh, after they do certain uh, rituals, they they try to go and reach to, to the uh, to the house of the devil, and they throw rocks, 
And if you remember, a few years ago, uh, two years ago, I think, more about uh, 7,000 people get killed. Uh, and and in the first day, they said only 500. But the fact it was a lot of people who died. Uh, so this is a very clear practice of paganism. And the Muslims, they are doing it blindly without even knowing why they are doing it. Now, the reason I today I'm making my video is not this. The reason I'm making my video because I want to show you a miracle. Uh, the Muslims, they come with, uh, with a miracle for us. And I think if you all of you, if you see it, you will, you will, uh, you know, you will embrace Islam. I mean, you cannot resist this. If you, uh, let us see the miracle first, uh, which is really astonishing. And I don't know how we can resist the temptation of what you will see. I'm sure most of you will convert to Islam immediately. So this Muslim, he wanted to show us that Allah, he made everybody do Hajj, not only Muslims. I mean, not only human. So look what happened. This is exactly what happened. Those are ants who they are doing Hajj. And the Muslim guy, he claimed that this is a proof that Islam is the true religion. But those ants are eating a dead rat. And yet he is saying they are doing Hajj. I mean, look, the people going in circle and those and ants going in circle. So how do you explain, explain that? So he is saying because of that, obviously Islam is a true religion. And if ants go around poo-poo or rats, Muslims can go around the black stone. And actually, that dead thing is dark. I don't know what it is. And the black stone, the, black, the Kaaba, is black too. So it makes sense. And there's a lot of similarity. The, the only difference is, I don't know why the ants is going so fast. I mean, can't they slow down like the Muslims? If you compare between the movement of the Muslims and those ants, look like those ants are very aggressive Muslims and they are more let us say, passionate to Islam. Like, they are very strong believers. I think they are orthodox. I mean, look look how fast they are going. That's unbelievable, man. But the Muslims are going so slow. I mean, look like the Muslim ants are better than the Muslim human. Just I wanted to share this with you. Please, if you'd like to join us in our live broadcast, we do a live broadcast every day at 4.30 except Saturday. Sometimes we do on Saturday too. Sometimes we don't. Uh, but every day at 4.30 p.m. New York time, if you like to join us. Now, this, this video my, is going to be copied by many, so might not be able to find where you can find me. The easiest way is the website you see in the screen, betteryon.com slash Christian Prince. You can uh, click there and then uh, click at the, down in the page. The first up updated video, not the old one, the first new video you see, click in it, and that will take you to my YouTube. Very easy, very simple. Now, uh, I don't know what you think about this amazing miracle, but I'm sure many of you is convinced that Islam is an amazing religion, and it must be true that if Hajj is not really a pagan, it is something happening from God, and to the point even ants are practicing that. So leave your comment, and don't forget to join us in our live daily show, except Saturday. As I said, sometime I do Saturday, but let us say except Saturday. And you will really like what we do, and you will enjoy it. And me, I am Christian Prince, and I welcome you to join us. Thank you very much, and God bless.